I'm Mary Beth Holloman. Um, we're here in Anchorage, Alaska. I, um, I've lived in Alaska for 28 years. I uh, ended up falling in love with Prince William Sound and the thing that I love about Alaska is all of its natural beauty and wild areas and wildlife and it's just spectacular that way. Climate change is becoming more and more real to us now. It's becoming much more visible to all Alaskans and everyone worldwide, of course. But, uh, you know, some of the changes I'm seeing here, um, Prince William Sound, still my beloved Prince William Sound, and I go, I spend time there every summer and uh, I'm seeing some incredible changes out there. There are glaciers there, tidewater glaciers, that I've known now for almost 30 years, and they're retreating and retreating so fast. I'm seeing rock that I've never seen before, landforms I've never seen before, where the ice once was. And this past summer was the worst I've ever seen. There were mountains out there that have always been snow-capped, and there was no snow on them. There was much less wa fresh water. Um, there's some changes in wildlife there. The yellow cedars are dying, the uh, seabirds are suffering, the marine mammals, beluga whales, they're all, you know, the glaciers are leaving me. They're, they're leaving us and they're disappearing and leaving us. And we're, we're responsible. It's really heartbreaking. It's, it's such a beautiful place. And now there's just this terrible sadness that goes along with being out there. So it's all very, it's very heartbreaking. And I, I really struggle. It's like very easy for me to get knee deep in this sense of despair over what we're losing and grief over what we've already lost and fear over what's gonna happen next. Uh, but I think of uh, the poet Wendell Berry wrote about how wild things do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. And I think about, well, what I try to do is I try to live in the present moment. And I try to be joyful about what is still here and appreciate it and um, live in this moment with as much joy as I can. And then I also try to like wake up every day and say, okay, what can I do? What can I do to help turn this thing around? What can I do to help change this story?